Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Today's guest is Chris Harris, partner in InTech Management, a property management company, Shreddock, a security document destruction company, and Island Shell, an environmental manufacturing company. Please welcome to Greater Good Radio, serial entrepreneur, Chris Harris. Welcome to our show, Chris. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Chris, serial entrepreneur, I'm going to let you tell us what you do on a daily basis. Well, that, that's a coined term I haven't, I haven't uh, used before. But I guess for, for myself, it's just uh, being out there and looking for opportunities. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be working with uh, two additional partners that helps us uh, both use um, you know, what each partner brings to the table as you know, experience and, uh, and knowledge. Um, the three businesses that we got involved with basically played off one another. Um, we got into uh, Island Shell business, uh, actually one of my oldest partners did, uh, wanting to uh, produce a recycled product on the island here instead of shipping all the recyclables off island. And he needed to have a secure flow of recycled uh, product to utilize to do that, and that's how he got into the shredding industry. Um, that's how he got in, that's how he got into shred or into the shredding industry called uh, confidential records destruction. We got into Intech Management because uh, a few years ago we realized that with these two businesses we needed a bigger place. And instead of uh, leasing a building, we figured it'd be better off to own something and to occupy it our ourselves and, and to manage it ourselves. So each one is as tied into one another. Wait, so the same two partners that you have are partners in all of the businesses? Yes, correct. So you guys as partners look for business opportunities together? Together and as individuals, if one of us has an idea and the other two agree on it, um, then we'll sit down just like this, round table, and discuss it. Um, that has benefited us tremendously. There's businesses that we've wanted to get into where one of us thought it was uh, going to be a good idea and maybe one or the second one or both of them said, no, this doesn't sound like a very good idea and, and moved us in a, another direction. Um, the newest one is, is the in-tech management getting into this property and then we'll find out if that was a good decision or not. <laughs> <laughs> and then how do you guys gauge what your bandwidth or what your capacity is going to be? Like how many of these can you do at the same time? Right. That, that's interesting, and, and that's been something we, we've definitely struggled with in the past year. Um, we were actually had an opportunity to go into uh, the European market and take ShredX over there and partner up with uh, another individual, and uh, that left us short one partner. And at the same time, we were going through construction of this new property, and uh, it really affected the partnership in which, you know, it, uh, we were spread out too thin. And uh, we just recently decided to pull back from that market and focus more on what we have going on here. Because it's, it's a critical time for us, for anyone in business, you know, uh, the future, uh, you know, it looks positive, you know, but things, things are slowing down a little bit, you know. So you get really got to pull in your resources, what you have going on, and making sure that, you know, they're going to survive, you know, through the next five years. So Island Shell, what type of environmental material are you folks recycling and then reusing to build things? Yeah, what, you know, that's, that's interesting. Like I said, I, that was uh, an idea originated from my older partner, uh, Bernie Boltz. And he was frustrated with the amount of material that we're shipping off island through the, the Shreddix or through the shredding company. And um, he decided that he could uh, purchase additional equipment and manufacture oil change boxes roadside or mulch and house insulation and so that's what we do we use a small percentage of what we destroy at shredex but also we use phone books and newspaper to manufacture these products and you know it, it's uh we've been in the business for about five years and you know there's been their ups and downs you know people are being are becoming more aware of recycled products and their benefits and starting to realize that just because it's made of a recycled product doesn't mean that it's not superior to something like let's say fiberglass insulation you know, um, so, uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. So it's interesting. You turned something that was probably waste material, right? Did you used to have to pay to get rid of the paper? No. Someone pay you? Yeah, no, it's not necessarily a waste material. The problem was that it was being all shipped off, you know, off island. So, you know, you're recycling a, a commodity such as paper, but it was being shipped over to the mainland to the paper mill. So, you know, you're being charged the freight and the fuel that was being used, utilized to ship it from Hawaii to the mainland. The phone books uh, and the newspaper, uh, you know, individual companies, I'm sure those were going straight to the landfill because there's real, no real mechanism for recycling that. 
So what we would try to do is, hey, you know, is there something that we can manufacture to divert that from going to the landfill and also use a portion of our shredded material to generate this product? Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.